Hey guys, this is JB3 and we are back with another episode of FIFA 22 Career Mode Youth Edition here with Bristol Rovers and we got a big one here. We're going to go three games in this episode and this this could decide if we're going to make the playoffs. So it's Nottingham Forest on Wednesday. They are seventh on the table. Then we take on Fulham on the weekend who are currently third on the table and then Stoke City who are somewhere in the playoffs. So, I mean, if we can find... You know, ideally nine points, but if we can find seven points, we can see ourselves right near the playoff line. We're going to be really closing that gap. If we, if we can get nine, we'll be there, I think. If we can get seven, we will be real, real close. So it's a couple big ones here because we got nine games remaining. We're on 56 points. If you look at the records, probably 75 points is going to get us there. So, you know, not a whole lot of room for error. It's a midweek game. It's two big games in a week. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can bounce back after our last lost here against Nottingham Forest. And so some definite fatigue setting in here for the team. Paradis will come in as Vitaly and Powell both dealing with a little fatigue issues there. Bocas, Wage, and Aguino. Slight, slight ticks there. Hopefully they can stand up here. Let's see what we can do here at home against Nottingham Forest. And we'll get this one underway. Oh, broken up. Can we get back in time? Couldn't get the ball there. Top of the box. Laid off here for Nottingham Forest. Big shot and Morris makes a diving save. All right, ball gets over the top here. Can we get back in time? Bocas racing back. Morris off his line and no, can't make the save. Couldn't get back in time. And a slow game so far to start for both teams. I mean, really Nottingham Forest sitting back a lot. We will try and force some pressure there, but they get the ball over the top here, get an early first goal, and it's one to nil. Sandvik, a good pass there, Carr lays it there for Gibbs. Gibbs now wide here to Wood. Wood, gonna take the shot. Goes right off the defender, goes for a corner. Brown gets past the side tackle, slots it home, has Carr. Carr now on here for Sandvik, who swipes side and put it in right before halftime. We get back level. Sandvik, who has free room of the pitch, finds himself on the right side and overloads that side, puts it in, and we get that goal back. We're back level here with Nottingham Forest. Five minutes to go here in the first half. That's a corner here to end the half. Paradis gets a good piece of it. Knocks that one away. Sent right back in for Nottingham Forest. Parrot is putting pressure on. Gets past him. Offsides call. Hopefully, no. Lozano gets it out, though. Parrot is controls it, and we get into halftime. One all. Parrot is gets past the slide tackle there. Nicely done. It's Gibbs. Gibbs over the top. Looking for Carr. Can he put it past him? I don't. Flag goes up. Oh, and that's a tough one there. Carr had a good chance. Puts it on him. No, uh, I thought it was offside. He might have stayed on, but misses the net and it goes for a goal kick anyway. Cross goes in, headed down. Wood fights back to try and win it. Can't do it. Controlled here again. Nottingham Forest get behind. Another chance from the top. Big shot and good deflection there by the defense. And Carr, oh, and he shoots it through. He has Wood. Wood going to try and use that pace. Can he get someone into the box here? Can't get past the last man. Wood now going to have to cut back. Hands it off to Gibbs. Gibbs slides it across. Sandvik, can he find two? Lays it there for Paradis. Takes a couple deflections. Loose ball cleared out by Nottingham Forest. They get behind here. Dangerous. Nottingham Forest out wide now. Has a chance. Aguino tries to get there. Can we head it away? Big chance there. Saved by Mores off the header. Final minutes here. And that will do it. We weren't able to get anything going. We weren't able to change up our lineup soon enough. We had a long, long spell without the ball stopping. But we do get a draw. It's one point and not really the way we wanted to get it started. A lot of fatigue setting in. But we will take it here on the midweek. A one-all game. And so we will get into this next one against Fulham, who are currently third on the table. So, 
It's going to be a big task here. We need to find some victories against these teams that are ahead of us and, and just claw them back within reach a little bit. So a lot of fatigue. We're going to roll a normal standard lineup. Let's see what we do here against Fulham. And we'll get this one underway. Gibbs to Carr. Carr slips it through. Hands Vitaly. Vitaly has a chance right on the keeper. Couldn't beat him. A good early chance, though. Good passing there. Right through the middle. Almost found it for him. Just couldn't get the angle right. Then goes for a corner. Carr. Oh, good slip through there for Gibbs. Gibbs going to chase it down. Can he keep it in? He does. It's Gibbs now. Right into Carr. Carr trying to find that space. Has it up to Vitaly. Takes a deflection. Sandvik takes a chance there. Takes a couple deflections before it's cleared off the line there. Vitaly comes flying in, but sent all the way back to midfield. Gibbs now. Sends it wide for Wood. Wood charging forward. Has Gibbs in the middle. Has a chance here to the top. Vitaly takes a chance. Takes a deflection. Almost finds the net again. Goes for another corner. Oh, gets through here. Good cross into the box. Brown comes and grabs it, turns it over, the, and a chance and it's going to go in. Oh, why can't we ever just clear the ball? We're just trying to pass it. He loses it there. And Fulham, with their very first chance, finds it into the back. And we see it here again. And Brown just knocks it down and just couldn't ever settle it. He comes flying in and just, ah, oh, just kill her. That's a killer. We're going to need to do better here against the best defense in the league as we trail 1-0. Brown, Gibbs on to Wood. Wood now, tight angle, can't find the... Oh, gets around his man, takes it near post. Loose ball there, couldn't get to it. Carr tries to chase it down, couldn't do it though, and it goes right back here for Fulham to go the other way. Aguino now sends it through, has Wood, Wood. On to Gibbs. Gibbs has some space in the box. Takes it right there. Another deflection and another chance there for Bristol Rovers. Over the top here. Gets there for Fulham and it goes bar down. Doesn't go in though. It's cleared out and it's a loose ball and Bokis luckily picks it off there and somehow that ball gets away from us as we turn it over but survive that dangerous attack there from Fulham. Corner here. Sent into the box, headed on, and it's a big save by Mores. Clears it off the line with Aguino. Still into the box and still dangerous. Pressure on, turns, shoots. Mores makes the save, goes for another corner. And that will do it. A frustrating one there is we have controlled most of the game, but we let up the one goal, and it's 1-0 here at halftime. Carr gets away from his man and drives forward here, has a chance here. Can he find that run there for Gibbs? Sends it back here for Brown. Brown tripped up on a delayed penalty. Now has Gibbs. If he's onside, has a chance. Beats the keeper. It's in the back of the net. Flatting stays down. 1-1. One, one. And a beautiful play there. Just found some open space there. Just Fulham threw it all forward there. And we're able to counter quickly. Gibbs does a great job staying on sides. Finds Brown there and just waits for it. Just waits for it. Sits there. Beats the keeper in the back of the net. All level again. 1-1. One, one. Carr gets the ball here. Going to run right at his man. Now lays it off here wide to Sandvik, who's going to chase it down. Sandvik now looking for the cross. Has Carr. Carr on the header. Tipped away by the keeper. Goes for a corner. The tally now sends a long ball looking for Sandvik. Can he push on? It's a delayed penalty as he pushes forward. Sandvik now all the way into the box. Has the angle. Takes it and beats the keeper as he guesses wrong. And we have it 2-1. Uh, 69th minute. Sandvik finds another goal. And coming alive here late in the season, finding some offense there. Gets past his man there. Just keeper just guesses near post and he goes to the far one and beats him easily and puts us up there. It's now two to one. And it's two minutes of extra time here, two to one. Lozano gonna push forward here, just trying to maintain possession here for Bristol Rovers. Sends it through, Vitaly now. 
has it wide to Karichi as time takes down and this will be it as we just take it into the corner. Karichi tries to get across in, couldn't get the ball away. And it's full time, two to one, Bristol Rovers take it and a big three point victory here against Fulham. And Mladen Mihov from Bulgaria is unsettled. 86 to 92, potentially 60 overall. We're going to bring him into the team. And so after a massive win against Fulham, we'll take a look at the table as it stands. Now, Brentford and Stoke City both have a game in hand on us. We do play Stoke City in the very next one. So fourth place versus seventh place. We're two points outside the or into the playoff. So... This is a big one. We need to get this victory here as we start getting towards the end of the season. And with what is possibly the worst timing ever, we have three, actually four players out on international duty for this game. So Wood and Carr are both called up for the United States and England. And it's Sandvik who goes to, I think he's Norwegian. I forget what Sandvik is. I think he's out on Norway. And Varen, who normally plays on the bench, he will be out for international duty as well. So it is Arnaz, Palumbo, and Karichi leading the line. It's a weak bench here. We're going to have to try and score early and control the ball and stay on top here against Stoke City. And we'll get this one underway. Oh, they slip a nice little ball through. Bocas stays with him. Takes a deflection right in front. Mores makes a good save there. Deflects it all the way out to the end line. Almost kicked out. We'll put pressure on and try and win the ball back. And top of the box here. In the hole. They're going to net it there. And you knew it was going to happen. We <laughs> made the first save. And we weren't able to clear it. Have not been able to hold possession at all here. And I mean, it's only a few minutes in the game. Stoke City come up with a big one here. One to nil. Oh, Lozano takes a deflection there on the pass. Couldn't win the ball, though. And it's dangerous here as they get it back in right in front. Focus can't get there. And Mores, though, closes down that near post. Sends it out for a corner kick. Tally gets it up through to Gibbs. Gibbs now. Can he find some offense here? Has Vitali. Wide here, Arnaz. Arnaz now slips it through, has a chance. Vitali there, turns, puts it on for Gibbs. Cleared out and a big save there for Stoke City. Arnaz through to Palumbo. Palumbo now gets it on Gibbs. Gibbs, can he make it happen? Sends it wide here for Carici. Carici now, can he deliver a ball in here into the middle? Holds it up nicely, sends it across for Arnaz. Arnaz back into the middle, has a chance. Oh, takes a deflection. And that will go for a corner as Vitaly put a good strike on it. And we will end the half on this one. Bocas into the middle. Sends a high ball in. Gibbs takes the chance. It's Palumbo who's going to take a chance there. Lozano now puts it right on the keeper. Makes the save. And probably our best offensive chance so far. Doesn't go for us. It's 1-0 halftime. Palumbo now. Kicks it wide there for Carici. Carici with Gibbs there and on chance. Sends it back into Palumbo. Palumbo now looking for it. Has Gibbs right in front of that. Can't beat the keeper. Loose ball. Arnaz puts it in. I'm not sure. Yes. Yes. Thought again. Gibbs might have been off sides. But he's not. He's just barely on. And Arnaz gets in there. Gets that rebound and slots it home. And we're back level here with a little bit of life. Finally some offense breaking up here. Nice chance there. Gibbs right there. Keeper makes the save. But luckily Arnaz doesn't give up on the ball. Gets in there. And it's an easy tap in there as the goalkeeper just sits there and watches. And we're back level 1-1. One, one. Out wide, Carici. Carici, can he lace one in here? Passes it back. A good pass there. Vitaly has Gibbs. Gibbs, loose ball. Plumbo, loose ball. Couldn't get the shot off. And Stoke City are able to break it up. Ball gets through here. Laid off. Top of the box. They get right back, and it's a soft shot. Spilled there, but Aguino's there to jump on the ball. And carries it forward here for Bristol Rovers. Palumbo to Gibbs. Gibbs now sends it through. Good ball there. Has Carici. Carici now lofting it in. Has Palumbo. Couldn't get there in time. Keeper makes the grab. Balls into the top. Maurice can't make the save. 
And Stoke City 2-1 here. Final minutes. They will break through with another one. And just not enough depth here. <laughs> you just, I mean, you lose four players. Three all on the front line. And that's going to make the difference there. Stoke City find it 2-1. Oh, they get past us here. Boke is going to have to retreat back. It's Stoke City into the box. Lozano takes the deflection. Goes wider than that. And they will race forward here as time is just about out. They'll launch it from range. Mores knocks it away. Uh, frustrating here. I mean, you almost wish we could have called it off due to international duties. You lose four players. Three of them are basically your entire offense. And we still fought tooth and nail. Almost got the result. But we go down. A frustrating one here on the road to Stoke City. And so last month here in Ghana, and we will bring in one player, Kennedy Ankra, who, you know, his overall is probably not there, but the potential is there. We'll see what happens with him. And here in Uruguay, one player to bring in, Ruben Pizarro. We will bring him in, 54 to 72 overall, 68 to 90 potential. So one player to bring in here for Ireland, Matthew Kennedy, 50 to 66 overall, 76 to 94 potential. We'll bring him into the academy. And we will take a look at the academy. Nesbitt still the best of the bunch. 67 overall. Ram right behind him at 64. So both players, I mean, three good players there. Mickelson actually looks pretty good too. So we'll hold on to these players. Let them grow. Hopefully get them out in a loan option towards the for next season. So they can grow a little bit more. We also have Juan Saavedra, who is actually looking pretty good as well. Nice little 15-year-old winger. Petrov. 59 overall, but the potential is still there. Pizarro, who we just brought in, the midfielder. So not sure where we'll be able to fit him in there. We'll have to get him training. Udo, still kind of falling away now. We'll probably actually let go of him. Just a lot of players coming through. So we need to make these tough cuts. Joseph McMullen, the central defensive midfielder, still kind of there, but we'll see kind of where he ends up, but we probably will let him go in the next one. We'll hold on to him for now. Matthew Kennedy looking good, 76 to 94 potential. We'll see where it lands, 54 to start with. De Carvalho, probably not going to make it, but we will hold on and keep a nice full academy for now. Goncalo Perez, or Perez, again, another midfielder, with the potential, we'll hold on to him. And then we have Kennedy and Craw, 52 overall to round it out. And we will send our scouts back out. It will be Sweden, Ukraine, and Slovakia for three months. And unfortunately, we weren't able to get the results that we needed. The victory would have put us just, or it would have put us in, would have put us in the playoffs against Stoke City, but we could not get it done. So we're still chasing a little bit here, but you know what? That's good results. Good, good showing there from the team. Shows that we have what we need to compete against these good teams. And we do take on Swansea City in the next one. So that will be a battle here as we try to make the playoffs. We're obviously got to leapfrog some teams here and you know, a couple victories. If we continue to play like that, though, we have what it takes. Defensively, we're playing well. You know, offensively, would love to score more, but, you know, we're, we're doing well. So we take on Swansea City and Peterborough. So that's both winnable games. Those That should be six points. So we'll see what happens, though. We will continue to fight on here in the championship. That does it for us here in this one. If you did enjoy it, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Turn on notifications so you can find out when the newest ones come out. And until next time, have a good one.